Let's look another example. Anya is sitting on the top of a building and she is looked down to her friend on the street. If the angle of depression is 37 degrees and the building is 120 feet tall, how far away from the bottom of the building is her friend? Okay, so mathematically, all we really need to capture what's going on here is a triangle. But if you need a building, we have got some windows over here and a door over here. So of course, when she looked down at her friend, she's looking at an angle of depression. Okay. But remember, what is an angle of depression? It means that she is looking down from the horizontal. So here's the classic mistake. Pay careful attention. I see a lot of students put that 37 degrees over here, which is not true. This is not the angle 37 degree because you are not looking that angle from the horizontal. Okay. So the thing you want to be very careful about with an angle of depression problem is always draw in the horizontal line because until you do that, you can't really figure out which one is angle of depression. Yeah. Now, as soon as you put this horizontal line over here, in that case, you can see that this is the angle of depression that we are looking off. And in fact, Anya is looking down from the horizontal. Okay. Now the angle is outside of this triangle. Let's label this as ABC. We have triangle, right angle, triangle ABC. And this 37 is outside of this triangle ABC. Well, in this case, we need the concept of alternate interior angles that come. And therefore, because of this, we have this one as 37 degree. Okay. We assume the ground is also horizontal. And here we have this setup. So I could extract all the information from here. We have we have angle ACB equals 37 degree and with respect to this angle, the building AB is the opposite side. Yeah. AB is our opposite side and BC is the adjacent next door. We don't have any information regarding the hypotenuse AC. Therefore, we will not follow that route. And in this case, we need to implement, yes, tangent, yeah, because opposite over adjacent. So this is another tangent problem. We can say that tangent of 37 equals opposite over adjacent. This gives us AB over BC. Let's say we have AB equals 120 and let's say BC equals X. Swapping x and tan 37, we obtain x equals 120 over tan 37. This equals, we have to type the calculator. We obtain 159.24, rounding up to two digit. Just to recall that this problem is one that trips a lot of students up because you don't take the time to draw this horizontal line over here. And if you don't put this horizontal line, it is very easy to put the 37 degrees over here, but that will be a completely different triangle and you will end up as a wrong answer. Okay. So be careful about that. And when, when you are doing an angle of depression, always draw this horizontal line. Okay. Let's solve this now. Jacob is flying a kite in the park and his sister noticed that the angle of elevation from his hand to the kite is 53 degrees. 
If the kite is 120 feet off the ground and his hand is 4 feet off the ground, how much string is between Jacob and the kite? Okay, let's try to build a picture over here. First, if I have got a kite flying up in the air, here is my little kite and you know every kite needs a tail. You have ever, if you have ever flown a kite, you will know that the string is not straight, yeah? It actually a curve. It looks like this. But uh, for our mathematical problem like this, we typically assume that the string is straight. Now here, the thing is, his hand is around 4 feet above the ground, okay? This much, this part, this rectangle part, this rectangular region, it is uh, 4 by whatever. So if his hand is 4 feet above the ground, well, then this triangle is actually 4 feet above the ground too, isn't it? So, if I just pull out the triangle out, I only need 125 minus 4 equals 121 feet. So, leveling the triangle, this is A, B, C. So, my A, B, this is 121 feet. And underneath the triangle is this 4 feet, this rectangular region, yeah, which is not our part of business in this case. Given the angle of elevation is 53 degrees. So, theta is 53 degree. And of course, we are looking for how much string is out. That will be that side of the triangle. So, our AC, we have to determine this. AC which is the hypotenuse because it is opposite the rectangle. So to solve this we would start on our angle and look across the piece of information we have in our hand right now. Yeah, We have this AB which is our opposite with respect to 53 degree because it is opposite of this angle and we have and we have to determine hypotenuse H. So in this case if we recall the formula we have Soka Toa We have in our hand the opposite side and we have to determine H. Therefore, none of this is applicable. Yeah, Neither this one, neither this one. Our business is with this one only. So, we set up a sine equation in this case. We have sine of 53. We can say that this equals opposite over hypotenuse. And our opposite side is AB. And hypotenuse is AC. Substituting the information, we have 121. And let's assume AC equals X. Therefore, swapping X and sine 53, we obtain X equals 121 over sine of 53. Now, with the help of calculator, We obtain the value rounded up to two digit. It's approximately 151.51, which gives us X. So in solving this type of problem, be careful about a little detail like that. If they give you the height of the person or the height of the string for a kite or something like that, just realize that your triangles of the ground and you have to account for that in your problem, okay? Last example. A flagpole is secured by guy ropes anchored to the ground 12 meters from the base of the flagpole and to a point 17 meters up the flagpole. Find the angle the guy ropes make with the ground and the length of the guy ropes. Okay, so the 
flagpole is secured by guy ropes anchored to the ground and it is 12 meters from the base of the flagpole yeah from here to here the length is 12 meter and from here to here um, the flagpole itself or where these ropes join up at at least uh, that length is uh, 17 meter yeah so let's label this triangle as a b c and i have got a right angle triangle and i know two of the sides so first write it here i know a b equals 17 meter and i know b c equals 12 meter so in a right angle triangle ABC, I know these two sides. Yeah. Now in this right angle, that's uh, that one there. The opposite comes out uh, from our mystery angle, say phi. The opposite of this phi is AB. This one is the opposite. Yeah. And there one that's left over BC that's down here, it is adjacent. Therefore, we have two pieces of information AB and BC, opposite and adjacent. Since we have the piece of information about opposite and adjacent, therefore, we are going to use, okay. Again, recall our old friend tangent. So we have tangent of phi equals opposite over adjacent. I have the O as uh, 17 and A as 12. So from here we obtain tangent of phi equals 17 over 12. Therefore this implies our phi equals inverse tangent of 17 over 12 now if you hack this in your calculator we obtain rounded up two digit we obtain this approximately 54.78 degree yeah now the remaining part is the length of the guy ropes okay Therefore, in this case, what I am trying to find is the length there, which is the hypotenuse. Yeah, we have to find the length of the hypotenuse. Therefore, what I am going to do is that the fact I have got this piece of information over here, I will use that as one of bits of info. Yeah, that I know that and uh, I can either use the O or the A, that is the 12 or the 17. So, so what I mean by that is I could say the sine of phi, let me write it here, I could say I know this phi, I have this O and A information given, so either I could use sine of phi which, which is equals our O over H or else I could use cosine of phi which is equals our a over h. Both will give me the value of h. Yeah? So substituting the value we obtain sine I am going with sine. Okay? But you can also try it cosine the answer will come same. 54 we have phi equals 54.78 this equals our opposite over h swapping h and sine we obtain h equals o over sine of 54.78 degree this equals this equals 17 by sine 54.78 degree so you put either of those into your calculator and you will get an answer of uh, 21 approximately
so the length of the guy ropes is 21 meter this session ends here i hope you guys have enjoyed my lecture if you have any queries doubts please let me know in the comment section and uh, it is my expectation that please also do not forget to subscribe my channel so that your brothers sisters and friends could know about it hope to see you soon in my next video till then see you bye